Hello everyone, it's time to kick off the leadership video of the month. Creativity is when you use your imagination to think of something new. Einstein said, imagination is everything, it is the preview of life's coming attractions. All innovation comes from creativity, and innovation happens in every area of your life, from the engineers creating more efficient, safer ways to travel, to chefs creating new dishes and flavors to surprise our taste buds. We can practice creativity by challenging ourselves to think outside the box. For example, if a problem has been presented and no one seems to know what to do, stretch yourself to think of a possible solution that may not be so obvious. This might mean taking a new perspective and making your own twists and turns through trial and error. Don't be afraid to experiment with new ideas, even if they don't end up being the solution. This may seem obvious, but how are musicians creative? You can write an original song or composition, explore different kinds of sounds and combinations of sounds, improvise music, and express emotions through performance. Reading music is a very important tool so you know what to play, when to play, and with what appropriate expression. However, there are limitations. It's impossible to write down every little nuance of the sounds we create. A musician interprets what the composer intended and adds their creativity to make the performance come alive. Combining reading rhythm, pitch, and expressions while simultaneously listening, interpreting, and problem solving, such as fine tuning, blending sounds, playing in sync with others, all on the spot, activates your entire brain. Music is the only activity that does this. Creativity breaks the boundaries of what's possible. It expands our understanding and feeds our imaginations. We are born with creativity, which helps us understand the world and make it even better. Imagine a world without music. Is that even possible? This week, come up with a creative answer of your own to this riddle. I have holes on my top and bottom. I have holes on my left and right. I have holes in my middle, yet I still hold water. What am I? Tell your teacher what you think, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.